Hello and good afternoon. This is Sage reporting to you live from Calkine Studios and it's lunchtime here in Sydney and you know what that means. It's time for the Mid-Market Pulse and in this show we'll take a look at the Australian share market's performance and the stocks that topped the gainers and the losers chart. In the final segment we'll focus on the stocks that grabbed the headlines today as well. So the Australian shares continue to trade lower by the afternoon amid the broad-based sell-off in the market. The investors turned cautious as record rises in the COVID-19 cases dampened the market sentiment. Even firm cues from Wall Street failed to cheer the market. Investors also reacted to earnings numbers of some of the big players such as A2 Milk, Qantas Airways, Woolworths, Whitehaven Coal, Remelius Resources, Appen, St Barbara, Eagers Automotive and others. The ASX 200 was trading 0.64% lower by lunch and earlier today the index opened lower, snapping three session gaining streak. The decline was as much as 0.7% to hit a high. On the sectoral front, nine of the 11 sectors were trading in the red zone. The healthcare sector was the worst performer with 1.5% loss. Utility and tech sectors also witnessed surges in selling and declined over 1% each. Among others, the materials, consumer staples, A rates and financials were reeling under the selling pressure. Meanwhile, the industrial and consumer discretionary sectors edged higher with modest gains. On the COVID-19 front, New South Wales reported a record 1,029 new locally acquired cases in the past 24 hours alone. This is the highest daily number ever recorded in Australia. And meanwhile, Victoria's daily case tally rose to 80, while Queensland reported no new cases for the second day on Thursday. Let's now turn our attention to the biggest gainers and losers in the mid-market session. Technology firm Appen topped the losers list by falling over 15% on disappointing earnings. The profit more than halved to 6.7 million US dollars during the first half of the year as customers allocated resources to new non-advertising products. Their revenue dropped 2% to 196.6 million US dollars. It also declared an interim dividend of 4.5 cents a share, in line with its interim dividend paid a year ago. Some of the other notable losers were infant formula company A2 Milk, Platinum Asset Management Tech Solutions Provider Link Administration, and electronic retailer JB Hi-Fi. Meanwhile, Australia's largest retail travel outlet, Flight Centre Travel Group, topped the gainers list by rising 4.3%. And some of the other notable gainers were the travel services provider, corporate travel management, cloud-based wagering platform, points bet holdings, resource firm iLuca Resources and real estate firm Growth Point, Properties Australia. On this note... Let us shift our focus to the shares that grabbed the headlines today. Beginning with the gold miner, St Barbara, who saw its shares dropping nearly 3% after it halved its final dividend for 2021's financial year. The company reported a statutory loss of 176.6 million Australian dollars for the year due to a hefty impairment loss of assets. The revenue dropped 11% due to lower production at Leonora and Simberi. The consolidated all-in sustaining cost for the group stood at 1616 Australian dollars an ounce, higher than the 1369 Australian dollars in 2020's financial year. The production levels also dropped to 327,662 ounces of gold compared to 381,887 ounces in the year ago period, while the gold sales amounted to 332,786 ounces. The average realised gold price rose to $2,215 Australian per ounce, lower than $2,166 Australian dollars a year earlier. The company also declared a final fully franked dividend of two cents a share, half of the final dividend it paid in the previous year. And it's time for a very short break now, but do please stay tuned on Calkine TV.
Hi, I'm Sage, and get ready to take the crypto ride with me on Kalkine TV. Watch the crypto buzz every Tuesday and join the excitement at Kalkine TV from Bitcoins to NFTs to Dogecoin and DeFi. We have updates about everything around these digital currencies. Understand the investing rationale and the risks involved in the space with me, Sage, on Crypto Buzz. Keep watching Kalkine TV. Welcome back. This is Sage. You are watching the mid-market commentary on Kalkine TV and we're discussing the shares that grabbed the spotlight today. Qantas Airways shares were trading 2% higher after unveiling its 2021 financial results. Australia's largest carrier by fleet size posted a substantial full-year loss due to the coronavirus-led lockdowns. It did start the new financial year in a solid position and managed its recovery, however. The revenue plunged 58.4% to 5.9 billion Australian dollars in the financial year 2021, while it posted underlying pre-tax losses of 1.83 billion Australian dollars. However, the underlying earnings before interest taxes, depreciation and amortisation was a 410 million Australian dollars in line with guidance provided in May. The company has not declared any dividend for the year as business was impacted by travel restrictions. As per the airline, the revenue loss from COVID-19's pandemic touched 16 billion Australian dollars as the bans on international travel and domestic border restrictions impacted the travel demand. The company expects to resume international services from the end of 2021. Premium branded dairy nutritional firm is next. A2 Milk's shares tumbled over 9% after it reported a sharp drop in its profit for the financial year 2021 and the New Zealand based company's profit declined nearly 80% due to supply chain disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The slow growth in its main market China also impacted earnings. Revenue fell 30.3% while EBITDA slumped 77.6%. The company said that the financial year 2021 was very challenging due to the uncertainty and volatility caused by the COVID-19 crisis while rapidly changing China's infant nutrition market also hurt earnings and the company did not declare any dividends for 2021 citing the market volatility and potential opportunities to reinvest in growth and supply chains. Also making the news, shares of Eagers Automotive rose nearly 2% after the automotive retail group reported robust earnings and for the six months ended June 30th, the statutory profit after tax jumped multifold to 202.3 million Australian dollars compared to 11.8 million Australian dollars in the same period last year. The surge in profit was driven by strong demand for new and used vehicles due to favourable economic conditions and changes in social trends and consumer behaviour. The company maintained a healthy financial position with available liquidity of 661.1 million Australian dollars and net debt position of 32 million Australian dollars at the end of June's quarter of 2021. Boosted by solid earnings, the company has declared an interim dividend of 20 cents. It will also pay an additional 8.4 cents special dividend following the sale of its Daimler Trucks business. The gold miner Perseus Mining has reported its shares slipped nearly 1% despite reporting decent earnings for financial year 2021. The profit after tax jumped 47.6%. While revenue rose 15%, gold production stood at 328,632 ounces while it declared a maiden dividend of 1.5 cents a share. And that's a wrap for now. Keep watching Kalkine TV, though, for more of the latest updates from the Australian share market. This is Sage signing off.